Okay, this is the free edition of Cerise Movie Plus. It's the Movie Plus Starter Edition. Uh, I like it. I, I like this program a lot. It's fairly easy to use and it does a lot of things. Now, this is the Starter Edition, which means, you know, it's limited. Where you see these like pink things here, means they don't work, especially here in the tools. You can capture, take uh, videos and photos off of your cameras and camcorders. You cannot rip a CD. You cannot narrate, record a narration, etc., etc. But you can do overlay tracks and make picture in picture really easily. And you can um, do keyframing, which is like, you know, fade something in and fade something out. And you can do chroma keying. Well, right now we just want to do uh, overlay tracks. You can see over here there's an overlay track. You can insert a video track, an extra video track, but you cannot insert an extra audio track. And you can see down here it, are, it comes with one audio track and one music track, which is a you know, you know it comes with the it comes basically like Movie Maker. Your video tracks have an audio track, and then you have one music track. And if you need to, you can insert more video tracks. Okay, right now you want to import some videos or videos and photos. Click the media tab here on the left upper left. And then click on import media and import and it'll take you into your video libraries and you can pick the videos that you want to use. I've already chosen two videos. Now when you hover the cursor over your video it plays it in real time on in place. It doesn't play it in the preview screen because you haven't moved it down here to the tracks yet. Um, I'm going to use the picture of the blooming tree as the background that goes on the video track. I'm going to use a picture of an Oreo at my hummingbird feeders as the overlay. I'm going to make this one small and put it on the bigger one. Now we've got two audio tracks, both of these video clips, and I'm going to right click and delete. The thing you'll notice even with Windows Movie Maker is if you can't find something, right click on a video clip or right click somewhere. There are, see, there are a lot of right click menus on these things. You can right click anywhere and come up with a right click menu. Okay, whoops, I removed it. There we go. Now, I want to make this one the same length as this one. Okay, let's do that. Then I'm going to right click in here. Delete selection only to get rid of the audio track. So I only have one audio track playing. Now you'll notice though that I don't have any little thing in here. How can I make a picture in picture? Come over here. See this little downward facing arrow that says attributes. Click on it and click on transform and it's going to show your video with these handles that you can move around and a grid and what I want to do is I make want to make this smaller now let's make it small there we go there and now look and I want to place it you know you can grab it and move it around you can put it here in the middle if you want to you can put it down in the corner you can make it smaller you can make it higher you can do all kinds of things with it. Now, if I play the video, you see how easy that is to do? Finished. A lot easier than movie maker. And you have a lot more. Let's say, oh, I don't like it in that corner. Well, then just move it over to this corner. Click and drag it over there. Come over here. Click. There you go. Hey, how wonderfully well that works. Okay. Any questions? Now you want to save this as a movie. Come up here to File, Export Movie as a file. Now, if you want to take this back into Movie Maker and work on it, save it as a Windows Media Audio and Video file. Uh, video for Windows, okay, Waveform, MP3. MP4, excuse me, if you're going to upload it directly to YouTube, you want an MP4, QuickTime, etc. 
So let's save it as a Windows Move video 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 file. Now this says, hey, you got uh, ABCHD, which is HD light going for you. It tells you what kind, tells you whatever. You want to make sure you're NTSC, and then hi, my videos. I can give it a name, which is PIP. Uh, let's, let's call this Serif Movie Plus Starter Edition PIP Test. And I'm just going to save it in my video files. And it's going to show me how long it's going to take. Which isn't very long. This isn't a very long video. It's going to take a couple of minutes. You can see it's rendering frames here. As it goes along, you'll see the frames moving. And it's done. Okay. Let's open it and see what it looks like. And there it is. Got my background video. And then my little video here in the corner. Now, see how big that is? I could have made that a little smaller. But, you know, you don't want to make it, for what you want to do, you don't want to make it so small that people watching it can't see it. Okay. Well, I hope this helps you. It is a lot, uh, a lot faster to do it with the Starter Edition than with Windows Movie Maker 6. And if you want to later on move up to uh, better video editor than Movie Maker 6, I, I like the Cerise Movie Plus.